Welcome to the Kanban Board App in Dato tutorial. In this tutorial series, you will learn about theming, user interface design, loading and saving data, drag and drop and much more in Dato. If you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe it's free and helps the videos reach more people. Don't forget to like too. So let's get started with this video. Okay, let's first get the starting assets. Click on code and download zip. Extract it to a folder. In this location make a new folder called SRC we will make the Gato project here. Now open up Gato and make a new project in this SRC folder. Name it whatever you want. Change to the 2D view. Let's make the main scene. For this add a control node and rename it to home. Save the scene in a folder called scenes. Now navigate to the assets folder. Cut it and paste it into the SRC folder. You can also see there is a prototype folder with an Adobe XD file. This is what we will be making. Okay, let's come back to Gato and edit the project settings. Search for window and change the width and height to 1280 by 720. Enable allow headby. Set the stretch mode to 2D and aspect to expand. In the quality section, enable the use nearest mipmap filter and change the anisotropic filter level to 16. In the theme section, enable use headpiece. Okay, let's start by adding a background color. For that add a color rect. You can see it is very small right now. To make it the size of the screen, click on layout and full rect. The color should be white. Let's work on adding the board name. As you can see there is some margin between the text and the edge of the window so let's add that first. Click on home and add a margin container. Again we make it the full size by setting the layout to full rect. Add a V box container to it. A V box container stacks its children vertically as you can see. Let's adjust the margin. I've found that 32 pixels work fine.
Add a HBox container to the VBox and rename it to Top Bar. Now you can see the items are stacked horizontally because of the HBox. Add a label to the top bar and change its text. For now, we can't see it because the font color is white. Instead of changing it on this label, let's add a theme. Click on the home node and add a new theme. Click on it to expand it. And then in the default font, click on new dynamic font. Set the size to 20 and enable MIP maps and filter. For the font data, drag and drop the Sago UI regular font from the assets. Then click Edit Theme and click Add Class Items. Choose Label from the list. Here you can set the default font color for all labels. I will change it to a gray color. As you can see it has updated the color of the label. Let's also save the font we just made so we can use it later. I want to make the board name bold, so let's add a custom font to it. The settings will all be the same except drag and drop the bold font file. Let's now work on the app name and settings button. Duplicate the label and change its text. For the button add a texture button. Drag and drop the settings icon image on the texture slots of the button. Set the stretch mode to keep aspect center to center the image. We need some spacing between the labels so let's add a V separator and move it between the two labels. Also let's rename the labels. Enable the expand horizontal flag on the separator so that it pushes the labels on either side. Let's add another separator between the label and button. Here I'm using a custom separation of 8 pixels. If you look closely you can see a black line for the separator, let's remove that by customizing the theme. So click on the home node, 
Then edit theme, add class items and choose the B separator. For the separator, style add a new style box empty. As you can see that line disappears. Let's do the same for the H separator. Also, it's good to rename the nodes to be much smaller. Let's now add the columns. Click on the VB node and add a scroll container. This will be useful later if you want horizontal scrolling. Enable the horizontal and vertical expand flags. This will make the scroll container expand to take all the extra space. Add a V box container to it. And add a H box to the V box. Rename it to columns. Add a H separator to the V box. Click on the V-Box container and enable the horizontal and vertical to expand flags. Do the same for the columns. For the separator set the separation to 8. Now let's work on making the cards. Before that let's make the color label since it's the smallest element. Make a new scene, and add a panel container. In the rect section, set the min size to 45 by 8. This will make it a thin rectangle. In the custom styles, add a style box flat. You can change the background color. Increase the corner detail. and for the corner radius set all to 10 pixels. Also, make the anti-aliasing size to 2. This is the base color label. We want the color label to also show its name sometimes. So we need to add a label. But we also want some margin. So let's add a margin container and a label to it.
Set the custom margin to 16, 4, 16, 4. Save this scene in the Scenes folder. It's also good to save the custom theme so we can use it later. Let's add the same theme to the color label scene too. As you can see the color of the text changed after adding the theme, so we need to set a custom font color. Click the label and set the font color to white. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on push notifications if you haven't already so you don't miss a new video. Do like and comment on the video too.